in uh, the summer of 1999, while we're in New York City, staying at the uh, Waldorf Astoria in the apartment of Ambassador Richard Holbrook, I wanted to take my kids, and particularly my daughter, out to show them the sights in New York, show them the, the tall buildings, the Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, all of the cultural opportunities. And so we're out walking down Broadway at about 44th Street, walking along, and my daughter suddenly stops, and she's looking up, and she said, look, there, there. Oh my gosh, a father's heart swelled with pride, with happiness. My daughter saw in the distance the Empire State Building, and it was so magical that it's affected her in this way, beyond what anything I imagined. And then I realized that she wasn't pointing at the Empire State Building, she was pointing at this sort of glass overhang that extended off a building about two or three floors up, in which a man was standing kind of looking at her and kind of waving. And that man was Carson Daly, the host of this incredibly popular afternoon television show for teens and tweens on MTV. And my daughter saw him. And it was like this apparition that she saw, Carson Daly and Total Request Live, TRL is the show. And suddenly, all of our plans have to change because she could have an opportunity to be picked to be in the studio for the show as Carson Daly is playing all the latest hits and even a few of the teens in the audience will get picked to introduce a song. So this is the cultural moment. No Empire State Building, no Statue of Liberty. My, my two sons are sent off to the local drugstore to buy markers and poster board because the way you get picked is you have to have a clever uh, sign and bring it back. We're in the park now. We're making signs and figuring out what to do. And the process is all of the teens, and they're almost all young girls, all gather around in this big gaggle. And an assistant producer comes down and looks at the signs and says, I pick you and you and you, and you get to come in. And they're chosen, and they go into the studio, and they have this iconic moment. So we're making the sign. I'm not making the signs. My, my daughter and my sons are making the signs and getting it all ready for the moment. And uh, my daughter, uh, I'm talking to her, and said, you know, you could put uh, something down about Cambodia. You know, you've, you've, we've just come from Cambodia. I said, Dad, what's the matter with you? Nobody here knows anything about Cambodia. Nobody cares about Cambodia. Just be, you know, just be quiet. Stay out of the way. So the big moment comes. My daughter's there. She's got her sign. The producer's there. And she gets picked to be in the audience to get to go in. And then they have the moment to decide who gets to introduce a song on camera. And the way they do it is they say, whoever's come the farthest gets to introduce the song. And so we're in New York City and some girls are saying, oh, I'm from Philadelphia, I'm from Ohio, and start working west. And finally, there's one girl who says, oh, I'm from California. And she's the winner. She's beaming. Now she's going to have her moment. And my daughter then says, I'm from Cambodia. 
She's picked. She's on. She's on TV. Hi, I'm Kelly from Cambodia. The next song is, and she has her moment of her life up to that point, being on TRL, Total Request Live with Carson Daly on MTV. A day she'll never forget, probably much more so than if we had actually gotten to the Empire State Building and the Statue of Liberty and that. You never know, but always meaningful family memory. 